Hey guys, it's Melanie and it is time for another Shop My Stash. I like to try to do these videos every two weeks, but realistically I am switching out this drawer on a monthly basis. <laughs> So I'm just going to keep it real and say that these are likely the majority of the products that you will see over at least the next three weeks in my weekly Friday Favorites and Flops, um, what you will be seeing on my face. Um, I am trying really hard to remember to always put what at least I'm wearing on my eyes and on my lips in the description box. I'm still not perfect at it, but I it is something that I'm working on. So anyway, this is Shop My Stash, and what I like to do is that giant Alex 9 drawer over here, and I do only have one of these. Um, I, I will never own two <laughs> because I just, I can't have that much makeup. That The thought of that stresses me out. Um, in fact, I am periodically going through and doing declutters and purges from here. I will link the last two most recent declutters, one of which was an eyeshadow palette declutter um, down below in the description box. But I pull products out of here out of like my entire collection and I move them over here to what is more of my daily makeup drawer. My containers, just really quickly, these I found in the, dar the Target dollar bin section like two years ago. These are just cardboard containers that I have left over from a PR package. I do store my palettes in that little pink thing over there so they're easily accessible for me. So let's go ahead and actually start with the palettes that I have pulled. I was tempted to pull another one, but the Lorac Mega Pro 4 is going on sale on Sunday at Ulta, and I am planning on ordering that as soon as it's released, so I wanted to leave room in the basket for that. Um, but with that palette being released, it kind of inspired me to pull the uh, Lorac Pro Three, I be, this is the um, kind of more rosy, neutral one with the blush packaging. Um, or I guess this is more nude. Yeah, this is nude. The new one is definitely blush. I did pull the Anastasia Tamana palette. I'll just give you guys a quick peek at that. This was released a while ago from Anastasia. I've always really liked the colors in here. And now that we are officially in fall, um, at least we're pretty close. <laughs> I believe uh, the Equinox is on the 22nd, but um, I'm really excited to be using colors like this. I also pulled the Blink Times BoxyCharm eyeshadow palette that I got, and um, these are really beautiful jewel tones here. Sorry, the lighting is a little bit rough right now, um, but you can see those are just really pretty jewel tones. Love that. I did leave the um, Allura Mercier Artist Palette for Eyes in my uh, basket here only because I love plum shades in the fall and this is full of beautiful plums so I just and I love this palette so I will link a few of what I consider my holy grail items in this drawer down below for you um, so if you want to go check any of them out and read up a little bit more about them you can find the links down there so and then the Just Peachy, um, I did want to leave this out because it's obviously newer to my collection and I am just enjoying using it. I did do a review of this, so I will link that video down below. You can see what my thoughts are. Obviously, I like it. I, it's still here. I didn't return it, so there's that. I know um, you guys... God, my hands are dry. Look at those. Wow, I need to put some lotion on them. Um, I know you guys like to have a quick look in each of the palettes, so there you go. I'll try to be a little bit quicker here. All right, so these products usually never change. For those of you that are curious about how I do my foundation, I am a powder foundation girl, but I do always, every single day of my life, whether I'm wearing makeup or not, put on the Paula's Choice Resist Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense SPF 30. I swear by this product. This is a zinc oxide <laughs> SPF, so it is a mineral SPF. 
it works to control my oil. It gives the uh, powder foundation uh, something to grab onto, if you will. Powder foundation, I feel, does need a primer of some sort. I prefer for my primer to be an SPF product uh, because I believe in putting SPF on your face. This is holy grail. I will definitely be linking this down below. I will never be without this a day in my life. I am hardcore dedicated to this product and I've not found anything that replaces it yet. I also have this primer in here. This is from Smashbox. This is their photo finish pore minimizing primer. I keep meaning to start using this so that I can give you guys a review of it. <laughs> I do have slightly larger pores and I love pore minimizing products. So I purchased this a while ago and really just need to start testing it. So that's in there. I have my eye primer, Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Laura Geller Balance and Brighten in Fair is my go-to powder foundation right now. I also have uh, several setting powders in here. Um, the Tarte Amazonian Clay Setting Powder in Light. The Lorac um, Blurring Translucent Pressed Powder. I actually like to put this on before my powder foundation. It does really help to blur the look of my pores and um, it's, it's great. I, I definitely layer foundation, <laughs> but that's how I get it to stay put on my oily skin. Uh, Laura Geller, I love this product. Universal Apricot Filter Fix Baked Correcting Setting Powder. I love this. I do have another setting powder coming to me from Becca, their Pink Haze. You will see a review of that probably this week at some point, so look out for that. And then my beloved By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. I love to use this from time to time as well, so this always stays in here. I, this, I know this is really expensive, but it's wonderful. All right, blushes. Now, if you are new to my channel, I am cruelty free. However, when I went cruelty free, I did not purge everything that was not cruelty free from my collection. So do know you are going to see some things in here from, for example, Mac and Benefit. Um, I, I don't purchase from them any longer, but I do want to use these products up. So I do have Urvana from Benefit. This is one of their box blushes. I have my beloved Marc Jacobs Air Blush in Flesh and Fantasy. This is what I use to contour every single day of my life, just about. This is the NYX um, Powder in Taupe. Now, I know they have a new version, but it is not the same because I've tried it and I've compared it and it's not the same. This is discontinued. I have about 10 backups and when I run out of those 10, I'm gonna be a really sad monkey. In all fairness, I do really like the Marc Jacobs Mirage filter um, contour shade that comes in that duo. So I will always have that as a backup, but this, there's nothing like it, you guys. Obviously I've hit pan on this guy. Oh, I always hate when I run out of these. Um, this is a Lorac blush from back in the day. I don't think they sell these anymore. This is Satin Matte in Velvet Rope. I also have a Lorac highlighter in here that in Spotlight that I actually like to use on my eyes. So this should probably actually be over here. Um, Hourglass. I love these ambient lighting powders. This is Ethereal Light. I love to use this all over my face. It makes my face glow. It doesn't make my face oily looking. These... These right here are the um, finishing powders or highlighting powders for oily skinned girls. I know they're expensive, but holy goodness, they are amazing. All right, a couple more things. Um, the There's the Hourglass Blush Palette from a couple holidays ago. I still have that in here because I just don't want to give it up. Here's a, this is discontinued now, but this is from was from Physicians Formula. This is their Brunettes blush. These were so pretty, you guys, and the formula is amazing. I don't know why they discontinued them. This is also a Pantone Universe and Sephora blush and highlight trio in Marsala when that was the color of the year. I'm really hoping you guys cannot hear my stomach growling right now. If you can, I'm very sorry. Quickly here, I just have a bunch of eyeshadow singles. I have a couple things from MAC. Um, this is Stolen Moment, right? Um, I also have, uh, where is it? My beloved, oh, I'll be sad when I run out of this, but this is um, 
satin taupe. <laughs> Honestly, this is one of my all-time favorite eyeshadows. It is, it is the taupe for me. <laughs> However, once I run out, I mean, I have lots of dupes for it, but there's nothing like the original. I also pulled Cranberry from MAC because I like to use that one this time of year as well. It's a gorgeous shade. Then I have an Ardency In Rose Gold eyeshadow in here, and then Nutty from Wet n Wild. It's always a nice lid shade. Um, Brulee from Wet n Wild. That always acts as my base. And I do have a couple of Lorac eyeshadow singles in here as well. In addition to the Shade and Light Eye Quad from Kat Von D, um, I will link this down below if it's still available at Sephora because this was on clearance for like $15. And I love this. This looks beautiful on my green eyes. I love plums, you guys. I am a plum, a taupey plum girl at heart. Okay, so we've got some lip products here. Um, NARS Chelsea Girls Sexy Mother Pucker. Um, from Soap and Glory. I have um, a couple of Laura Mercier lipsticks in here. What are These shades are both gorgeous. So um, Lychee Parfait and Spiced Rose. I love both of these. Laura Mercier makes great lipsticks. If you're into spending money on lipsticks, they're fantastic. Two NARS Audacious lipsticks that are actually sticking around from the last time that I changed my beauty basket. Barbara and Vanessa are two of my favorites. I will be very sad to not be able to repurchase these. This is one of my favorite lipstick formulations ever. I'm so bummed that NARS decided to sell out. But what are you going to do? <laughs> Luckily, this once I finish these, it will make room for me to try new amazing things, right? Got to look at the plus. The plus side, I guess. Um, obviously not plus side for the animals involved, but oh yeah, this is probably not the video for that conversation. Okay, Buxom. These full-on lipsticks. Nobody ever talks about these, and these are amazing. I'm going to link these down below at Ulta. They are fabulous. My favorite shades are Amsterdam, Sydney, and Dolly. Go look them up. If you like what I'm normally wearing on my lips, um, Basically, I'm more of a mauve or pinky nude or my lips but better colors. All three of these are those. Um, I'm sorry that my lighting here is not doing them justice, but just go look them up at Ulta. They're fabulous. There's also a By Terry Baum de Rose lip conditioner in here and then a Smith's Rosebud lip balm. And that's most of what is in there. So that is my most current shop my stash wait oh shoot oh god I forgot this we're gonna run through this really quickly buxom um the big tease mascara I am in the testing phase of this to give you guys a review which should also be up later on this week so there's that um Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir oh this is to die for I love this mascara I love it I'll be buying backups of this during the VIB sale it's Oh, I love it. Oh, it's good. Kiko Milano Fall 2.0 Mascara. Take that. I like to use this to line my lash line. I am a powder liner kind of girl. I have a couple of micro brow pencils in here. One from Fiona Styles. One from NYX. Um, the next one is fantastic and it's 10 bucks. I'll link it down below. This is my Holy Grail Brow Powder because it's the only um, gray brow powder that I find that matches my hair perfectly and I believe this is actually discontinued. I do have two backups of it so I think I'm set for a while because I've had this one honestly for probably close to two years and I have not even hit pan so I'll be fine with my two backups um but these are these were great. Tarte why'd you discontinue these? <laughs> Dang it so yeah Tarte uh, Amazonian clay volumizing brow powder in gray love that and that should be everything wow thank you guys for sticking through this video um, if you don't have something like this you should think about doing it only because it makes getting ready every single day less overwhelming I highly highly recommend pulling out everyday makeup if you have a collection like this and it stresses you out in the morning 
it just it's super helpful to open this and only find a few options to choose from so anyway thank you guys so much for watching have a great rest of your day and i'll see you tomorrow take care bye bye